I think it's a good idea. It's encouraging all the children around here and everybody else to grow their own stuff mm -hmm. and eat good green vegetables. I think it's a good idea because everybody's working together. Mm. But even the little ones at help you. You know, mm. the, the children at help you. Mm. You don't need to drink things, won't you? Huh? You don't need to do some plan I've planted a tree somewhere around here. Street. Um, Evening all. People who you'd never have thought would come out gardening really. I generally made soup because then people would come and just share in what was going on. We also then ended up having a few celebratory parties in this little bit down here. What do you make with your Lego? I made them. Look at them. Ah, you know, that's interesting. You live. Go on, where do you live? 26. I live at 26. No, I live at 26. No, I live at 26. There you go. Let's go. That's it. That's no, she needs to use it for the camera, mate. Because yeah. that's what she's so doing. So we can be yeah. filmed. Yeah. Lots of people come and work on the garden for all sorts of reasons, and it's not just about planting seeds or doing that kind. It's about meeting people and about learning things and about making connections, and that's what I love about it is that you never quite know which recipe you're going to get. And that isn't just the soup, it's the people as well. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to do different things in different beds just to see what works, because all the all different gardeners have always got something to say about, like, if you do it one way, then somebody oh, else comes along and goes, oh, I'd never do it like that, Oh, Everybody's got a different way, and everyone's got different knowledge, and, different, and just, I don't know, do you know what I mean? I've got enough experience to say, you know, I, I can only say what's worked for me in the past. I thought that schools could use this very beneficially for nature walks. I think that if any school wanted to get involved here, they would get a lot from it. And we would get a lot from it because obviously we want to involve more of the community. I don't think you know it, but I know I live a long, long time. I've seen so many people, it has been changed and everything. Well, I think this time we're making a good end. So I'm happy with this. Yeah, I really enjoy bringing people down here and picking herbs with them and picking the sturtiums which you can eat. And the fact that you really don't need to wait until you've got everything, you can just do it little by little by little. <laughs> and that's enough. So overall for me it's just been an experience of like enjoying life and nature in the city. We're making um, a map of Leafy Street, so so it's like a, a central sort of visual um, um, layout of the whole place. So it's really easy for people that don't know anything about like Leafy Street. You can come along and 
sort of pick it up and know where everything is and know what all the plants are and what, what's going where because there's actually a lot of stuff so it sometimes looks quite messy and also like people who are working on it can always pick it up and find like you know a, a map to find where areas that need stuff doing on them are and stuff like that. Also the database so that people can see right I've got a bruise what can I do about it Arnica's good for bruises and they can look up see, to find, see if we've got some Arnica we have got Arnica what does it look like where is it what do I do with it do you know what I mean how am I going to use it so that all the things in the garden people can look them up and, and make use of them and you don't have to be a fucking plant and a rack to know, to know it all already mm -hmm. and it's all been done with no funding and minimal organisation and everybody people just raise the money themselves everything's been got from blacks it's, uh, it's completely amazing. Pull it up and eat it. I 